Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Welcome to another award loan. I will start with Orate, although I do, as you can see on my dashboard, I was tempted to go with Arise. And this is because I've been stuck in a series of fours for the last few days. Let me know what word do you recommend me to start with for my next Wordles because I really want to do some threes and not lose against Scordle. All right, so all right, let's see how well we do today. All right, so the T is there. It's a good thing that I went with all right because our eyes didn't have a T. All right, so the green T will get us down to what? 305 and no E's is going to be 152. All right, so we have T S I U Y. Uh, units, look at that. Units would be. Uh, U is pretty bad. N is pretty bad. Then I T S. Yeah, the S in the N is not too good. Most of those words will not be answered, really. So look at the endings S T S, I T S, N T S, T T Y, and L T S. Let's look at what words can we make with those. So S T S endings. We get lists, lusts, mists, hists. Gists. Yeah, everything is plural, as you can see. So if we do ITS, uh, suits. <laughs> Should we do this one? <laughs> units. I like units. Because if you notice my previous videos, sometimes the answer has letters down below from the third and four uh, groups of letters. It's not even in the highest uh, frequency letters at first. So units is one that I can think of. Now let's look at NTS endings. Same thing of pints or mints or hints. NTS seems like a good ending, but again, N. Yeah, N is not too bad. It's the third most frequent letter, NTS. Oh, there you go. Let's do mints then. It's 152 words left. So we have M, I. N is not that good, but it's not that bad, and T and S. So let's do mints just to try to remove as many words as possible. All right, so that was a good guess. <laughs> no M's. Locking in the I in the second position, that's going to get us to 53 words. Then the N is going to be 10 words. And then the T we already had. And no S in the N. That's a great thing because that's seven words less. Uh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think it's going to be ninth. It could be linty, right? Even this month on World 594, we had tasty. And last month we had a, a bunch of Y ending words. Matey was one. Beefy was another one. So linty, I don't want to go with linty. Tinty, I don't know what that is. I mean, I understand what that is, but I don't think it's going to be an answer. And for those of you who were wondering, this is what it means, Tinty. I'm going to go with ninth. I think it's an interesting word. It's not the ninth of the month. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to go with ninth and, you know, wish me luck. So ninth it is. There you go. Perfect. Wonderful. Yes. That is great. Back to threes. All right, let me put that in my dashboard. And then let's look at how uh, Scordle did. So this is great. Look at Scordle using my word or eight. It took it four guesses. And it went with musty, an M word for the second guess as well. From musty to filth. But really what matters is Scordle with slate. So we both have the green T. I will play that round as well. But let me show you the leaderboard. With these results, I'm picking up another point and I am ahead of both Scordles with my word and with Slate by one point. So I was feeling very defeated yesterday. Today I feel a little bit better. Still, let me know what words you want me to use in the future because Orate is working, but I think I don't think it's working 100% of the time. So I'm open for suggestions. <laughs> and stay with me. At the end of the video, I will show you how your combo for the tournament did today. So now let's play Scordle with Slate. I have the words down below and we'll look at this panel now. So with Slate it had uh, T-Y-O-I-H and it went with 40. F-O-R-T-Y. Yeah, it went with 40. And again, I'm glad I've, I think I found the way Scordle solves the puzzle because when I built my model 
I didn't know that this thing existed. In fact, I'm really bad at uh, word puzzles. So 40 would get squirtled down to seven words. It didn't go with width. If it had gone with width, it would have found the H and the green I as well. But it went with putty. So, oh yeah, it had pretty much everything for the first word was a variation. Yeah, it went, yeah, it did go with highest scoring letters. P U T T Y. Yeah, so let's put it in just so that you see what happens there. So no P's, no U's, obviously not a second T. The green T was locked in and no I's in the end. Oh, it leaves Cordal with width and ninth. And it was a toss up, it won the 50 50. All right, <laughs> well, that's good. So, so let's see how you guys did. Wow, it looks like it's going to be a difficult day for at least the majority of you. We have Jack Tiger again with four color tiles, three in the first word and one in the second. But the second words, and this is something that I've been noticing, I think your second words are way, way better than the first words. So something for you guys to think about. So nine was the answer today. Thank you very much. And I'll see you tomorrow.